So if you're interested in GIS for mapping, this may be of interest to you. So I just received the latest issue of ARC User, which is a GIS focused journal. And there are a couple of articles that I found really interesting. So the first of which is using GIS to map the way to housing equity. And so it talks about how the, the importance of understanding zoning reform and how the housing shortage is hindered or blocked by existing policies and dated zoning ordinances. And so the importance of understanding that, and it also talks about um, the American Planning Association or APA recently, recently released its Equity and Zoning Policy Guide, which can be found here, which helps planners and government leaders identify the ways zoning regulations can be changed to meet the needs of historically disadvantaged and vulnerable communities. So I will share these links in the um links below. And so it also provides an example of a map of historical redlining policies. And so this and other maps can be found on the website Esri Maps for Public Policy, which you can see here. So these maps are available for the public to use and for you know research analysis and policy recommendations as well. And finally, there was an article about GIS AIDS housing equity. And so in response to the opaque rental housing market in Lebanon, a research team created a database of rental information that's um, contributed by tenants and shared with house seekers, tenants, researchers, and housing advocates through an online map. So it shares some screenshots of their database and what they did so I find that this could be helpful in our local area in terms of in understanding housing uncertainty and so providing residents and potential renters with access to rental market information and just increasing the transparency in the rental market, um, which can also contribute to inequities amongst dwellers.